which Kenya is. The Court of Appeals proposal to lower the age of sexual consent from 18 to 16 came up for discussion once again, this time among parents, civil society organizations, political leaders and other stakeholders. This following reports by the Kenya Prison Services that at least four minors who are convicted under the Sexual Offences Act are serving a sentence at the committee maximum prison. Children themselves can be offenders, will be sentenced under the Bosra Institutions Act or the Children's Act where they have a maximum sentence of three years and that is maximum. So children can be, go for probation, children may go for counselling or they may go to the Bostro institutions or approved schools as we know them. Lady Justice Njokin Dungu, who is one of the architects of the Sexual Offences Act, defended her position, saying the judiciary ought to follow the constitution. Our constitution of Kenya, Article 260, says that a child is an individual who has not attained the age of 18 years. Sentiments which seemingly struck a chord with both government and non-government officials fighting to shield minors from being subjected to a number of risks such as dropping out of schools, teenage pregnancies, HIV and AIDS contraction, among others, maintaining that at 16, one is still a child. The part of our brain that controls reason of our, or our capacity to make good choices matures between 22 and 26 years of age. So when we come to discuss consent, and we are talking about 18-year-olds, then even biologically they are still not competent to make good choices. The judges that uh, proposed this were saying the UK does this, the US does. So what? This is not their country. These are completely different country. Why should we copy and paste? It doesn't make sense that parents, this needs to start at home. Of course, I understand that the schools and the churches have secondary responsibility, but in the end, we must ask and question ourselves. We are the ones who breed criminals at home. This comes months after a 26-year-old man who was sentenced to 15 years for impregnating a 15-year-old girl was allowed to walk scot-free when the Court of Appeal overturned the ruling and ordered his release. The three appellate judges who are handling the case questioned the provisions in the Sexual Offences Act No. 3 of 2006, which criminalizes sexual conduct with children of a younger age. Following the mounting pressure to have the age of sexual consent pegged at 18 years, talks by various stakeholders insist that having national parenting guidelines will help safeguard the interests and future of vulnerable minors. Brenda Cheriot, K24 Evening Edition.